Short shorts. Spray foam insulation and air sealing. A big factor in Earthcraft certification is creating a tight house. And that's done with properly installing insulation and air sealing techniques. So what are some of the things you used in the Serenby house to achieve that tight building envelope? We had to go with an insulation product that would give us the insulation value that we were looking at and would also give us air sealing characteristics. And that is precisely what uh, this foam insulation does. In this case, it's an open cell foam product. Open cell foam, after a certain thickness, it serves as an air sealing product as well. So each of our cavities is filled with this open cell foam and it's filling the entire cavity. But then you need to focus on the other things. Any penetration, windows, door, you foam with low expansion foam. Even here, if you look down below, our bottom plates have been caulked to the decking. This is something new we're trying on this home. Instead of caulking, where you have double studs, where potentially you can have an exterior sheathing with a gap, although we already put tape on the other side, we're going the extra measure and putting tape on the inside. Don't forget we have the ceiling that we need to treat somehow. In this particular home, we decided to encapsulate the attic. What that means is instead of the insulation being flat on top of the drywall, we actually spray the roof decking from the underneath with open cell foam insulation. Doing an encapsulated attic is a great idea, whether for this home or any home, because then it brings all your mechanical duct system units into your building envelope, into the condition space, such that if any of those units have an uh, air leak for whatever reason, it's not being wasted to the outside. It's maintained and retained inside the house.